All trauma is relational and intimacy is the cure. We are born to be intimate as a species. It's what makes us healthy and happy. It's what makes our physical bodies uh, run smoothly. It's what we as a species are designed for. The lack of intimacy has just been seen by research to be the equivalent to our bodies uh, as smoking a pack and a half of cigarettes a day. How to be in healthy relationship to ourselves, first of all, and to those uh, around us. How many of us are harsh with ourselves, for example? How many of us have well-developed uh, inner critics? I grew up in a dysfunctional, violent family, and I'm here to tell you I spent decades loathing myself. Uh, emotionally, I was vicious to myself. I'm not like that anymore. I have practiced the art of healthy self-esteem, neither better nor worse than anybody to the left or to the right of me. I have learned in my own life, minute by minute and act by act, to hold myself accountable for my behaviors, feeling proportionately bad about what I might do. If you don't feel bad about your bad behavior, you're shameless, you're sociopathic, you're, you don't have conscience. It's good to feel bad about what you do. It's useless to feel bad about who you are. This is a distinction the great pediatrician Ben Spock taught us all. One man changed the culture. Before a Spock, the way you would uh, discipline it, don't be a naughty boy, don't be a bad girl. Now we've learned to say, you're a good boy, get that hammer out of your hand. That's not good behavior. We feel bad about bad behavior and we still hold ourselves warmly and lovingly as flawed human beings. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, learn from your mistake and focus your attention on the person you may have disappointed or hurt. That's the difference between shame and remorse. And when I work with a client who's shameless and I confront them about their bad behavior, you often see uh, someone move from inflation to deflation, from shameless to shame. Oh, I was entitled, now I'm a big shit. And I say to them, beating yourself up is no favor to anybody. No one needs that from you. Guilt or remorse goes out to the person you hurt. Let me have empathy to you. Let, let me do what I can to help you. When you move from shameless entitlement, I, I deserve, to a shame-filled uh, attack, I'm a big shit. But you go from one form of self-preoccupation to guess what? A different form of self-preoccupation. Uh, what I counsel people is uh, what my kids call get over yourself. It's not about you. No one needs you to beat yourself up. Go to the person you hurt. What can I do to make you feel better? How can I make repair and amends to you? And I'll be sitting with someone in my sessions who goes from shameless entitlement to swamped shame. I'll, I'll teach them the difference between shame and remorse. And I will say, okay, enough about you. I want you to pay attention to the person you hurt. Shame is hard to get over. I'll give you 60 seconds. Go. Shame is not something you need to get into treatment for 15 years to get over. Pulling yourself up out of shame into attention to the person you hurt and repair is a muscle you can begin to develop and uh, strengthen with practice uh, over time. Relationships heal. Falling in love means this is the person who's going to complete me. Uh, but being in a real relationship comes when you pass through disillusionment. When you realize not only is this person going to heal me, they are exquisitely designed, I say, to stick the burning spear into your eyeball. You will be hurt exactly as you were hurt as a child. That doesn't mean you're in a bad relationship. It means you're in a real relationship. What happens now? 
if you redouble your efforts to get that person to give you what you deserve, that's the merry road to hell. 90% of our fights are about trying to get that person to make it up to us and then retaliating or withdrawing when we're disappointed and they don't. Take a breath. Practice the skill of relational mindfulness. It's not their job to heal your inner child. It's yours. You take that little boy or girl and put them on your lap. You put your arms around them. You hear them and love them and demote them. You, little Terry, the one who was abandoned or violated as a child, just as Belinda is doing right now, you are with me. Belinda may abandon you, but I won't. I love you. I'm here. You're in the back seat, sweetheart. You let me deal with my wife. Don't you do it you'll make a mess of it. My job is to tend to those wounded and adaptive little children, just a fanciful way of speaking of trauma states. My job is to tend to those parts of me and not foist them off on my partner to deal with. Once I have my arms around that little boy or little girl, once they feel they're not alone, but I'm here with them, and once they're demoted and let me have the steering wheel, then I, the adult, can turn to my wife and move to repair about whatever went wrong. They won't do it in a way that's going to work. I call this relational mindfulness. It's a two-step process. First, we turn in to the parts of us that are knee-jerk or hurt, we handle those, and then with them safely behind us, we turn our adult selves to our adult partners and do our best to make things work. Maturity comes when we handle our inner children and don't foist them off on our partners to handle. What do they do? They provide us the opportunity to do this work. If we do something different, in that old drama. They may do something different in that old drama. And that's what heals. If we try and get them to give it to us and not replicate the old wounds, we're going to fight, we're going to try and control, we're going to withdraw, we're going to do what we did as kids. If we take a breath, deal with our own inner children, and turn to them with maturity, skill, sophistication, love, then we may evoke something very different back. And that, my friend, is being partners in health. You deal with you and then help your partner rise to the occasion. Will it work always? It will not. But when it does, it's a really beautiful moment.